Hey, I'm Eddie Nickens, editor-at-large for Field and Stream Magazine. To keep Colorado's wild rivers flowing free, Heroes of Conservation finalist Kirk Clanky has reached out to communities from Denver, west, all the way to the headwaters of the Colorado River. He's president of his local chapter of Trout Unlimited. He'll speak to practically any group that will lend him a microphone, and he's raised tens of thousands of dollars for river restoration. Kirk is the most dedicated guy I've ever met. He's active with a number of different groups up here that are all focused on conservation. We're really lucky to have someone like him with his knowledge of water and his passion for conservation. Turning down the water taps of such a vast region will take a huge community outreach, and Clanky's community-based approach seems to be working. I'm a fly fisherman, but I care about so much more than just the aquatic habitat. When I started objecting to people profiting from taking the water from the West Slope, I was so alone in this. Slowly, one person joined me and then another person joined me and this little tiny unhearable voice is now a very loud voice. Kirk got me casting for trout and he actually made me get involved and become much more aware of what's going on with our rivers here in the valley. If current projects proceed, 80% of the water will be siphoned away and sucked from the wild. And this in a region where more than half of human residential water use goes to watering grass lawns. The Denver people, I guess, don't really know all the concerns and problems that the locals really focus on. Today, they're taking 60% of the Fraser River and the tributaries that feed the Fraser River. We're Denver's playground, and the rivers are a big part of that. We need to educate the Front Range to work with us and not kill the reason that you live in Colorado. Denver is seeking federal approval to take another 20%, and therein lies the problem. With only 20% of the native flows left, I don't think this river can sustain life. Hey, look at this. This is what the headwaters of the Fraser River looks like. Let's jump in the creek. First and foremost, sediment seems to be one of our most impacting issues. We brought shovels into this section instead of fly rods because I wanted you to see how much traction sand collects in this river. This is all traction sand. That's correct. 6,000 tons of traction sand gets put on the west side of Bertha Pass every winter. That ends up migrating to the river. Without the flows, we can't flush that, and we lose the aquatic habitat. As far as I can see up this stream, it is just sediment, 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 sediment. Once that sediment covers the bottom of the stream bed, that you've smothered the rocks where the bugs live, trout don't spawn on sediment. They need a rocky bottom. He's got uh, a reclamation project going on now where they're taking a lot of that sand so it doesn't get into the stream system. Not the best fishing, but a good place to do some scientific research. See all this gritty sand? This is the problem. I think I got two stone flies. Looks like stone flies. Some nice healthy ones. I'm afraid a healthier stream would have quite a few more bugs and a lot less traction sand. So let's check the next spot out. Kirk's put together this team of people that are out monitoring the watershed. We just are here to provide data, opportunities for people to educate themselves so that they can make healthier decisions. My friend Eddie Nickens. We're ready to get in the water and take some samples. As we lose flows in the river and we get into the warmer summer months, we see temperatures that will threaten the cold water fishery. 70 degrees Fahrenheit is lethal to the trout. We're seeing temperatures of 74 degrees. Kirk's after two things. He wants to keep as much water as possible in these rivers, and he wants to make sure that the water that remains here is as clean as possible. Better data, better decisions, that's what's gonna save the water of Colorado. When a Denver resident turns on a lawn sprinkler, trout, 
deer, songbirds, and wild lands west of the Continental Divide take a hit. Kirk Clanky wants to reconnect Coloradans with the natural resources that give the Rocky Mountains their very identity and splendor. Kirk is by far one of the major heroes in our community. He's the go-to guy, number one, for everything we do up here. He's really the eyes and ears. He gets his hands wet and monitors the streams himself. If my grandson can't have the option of having as good a life as I've had, then our generation has let him down. And that's really what drives me. Colorado's wild waters are being ditched and drained and turned into tunnels. Clanky wants to turn them back into natural free-flowing rivers. Now that's the work of a hero of conservation. We really need the people in Colorado to understand what a finite and precious resource this is. And if they just use it wisely, there'll always be an environment to come and recreate in. <laughs>